Hello, I'm Inash Ravinsky, and this is Military Mind. Armed conflicts, defense and security, land, sea and air, we've got you covered. Overnight, Ukraine's Air Force reported 24 drone attacks launched by Russia, with a primary focus on critical infrastructure in the southern regions of the country. According to official statements, Ukrainian forces successfully downed 17 Iranian-made Shahed drones across six Ukrainian regions. Meanwhile, in a grave warning, the head of the UN's nuclear watchdog emphasized the looming threat of a major nuclear accident following a recent drone attack on Ukraine's Zaporizhian nuclear power plant. The International Atomic Energy Agency has condemned the attack as reckless. It led to an explosion near the reactor's containment vessel after all, so yeah, definitely. Moving to the front lines now, Russian forces are focusing their efforts on capturing the remaining parts of the Lugansk region and pushing into eastern Kharkiv region and the Donetsk region. Fighting in these areas continues. Russian airstrikes have intensified in and around Kharkiv, with hundreds of glide bomb strikes reported. Ukrainian forces claim to have destroyed 11 Russian armored vehicles near Tenme. Let's move now to the Middle East. Egyptian state media are reporting that talks between Israel and Hamas in Cairo have made significant progress. The negotiations are focused on achieving a ceasefire and a potential hostage deal. Meanwhile, as the war passes the six-month mark, Israel has scaled back its military presence in southern Gaza, leaving only one brigade in the region. Military officials have cited the need to rest troops for future operations as the primary reason for the withdrawal, emphasizing that the conflict is ongoing and far from achieving a resolution. The IDF's 89th Brigade cleared the Al Amal neighborhood in western Han Yunus before withdrawing from the area. The troops found over 100 militia sites and destroyed a 900 meter long tunnel furnished with living spaces and weapons stores. The so-called Ministry of State Security of the unrecognized breakaway territory of Transnistria announced that on the 5th of April, a drone attacked a military installation in the Rybnitsia district, six kilometers from the border with Ukraine. The report was published on the ministry's website. Andriy Yusuf, the spokesman for Kiev's main intelligence directorate, said in a comment to the Ukrainian media outlet Suspilne that the drone attack in question was Russian provocation. Drone shot. In the video coming up, captured near the Ukrainian town of Ternin, you'll see Ukrainians nabbing a Russian tank reportedly fitted with a lot of electronic warfare hardware. Footage shows a failed Russian assault, which led to the occupiers losing as many as 11 vehicles and Azov capturing and evacuating the Russian EW tank. After recon spotted a Russian armored group heading towards Ukrainian positions on the Kremlin front, Forces from the 12th Azov Special Purpose Brigade of the National Guard and the 95th Air Assault Brigade launched an attack and ended up smashing the enemy column into bits. Russian troops and vehicles crews fled, abandoning their hardware, enabling the Azov fighters to drag the crippled Russian tank off the battlefield. A solid win against the invaders.
Now that's what I call a target-rich environment. Coming up is a footage showing the Ukrainian Inquisition drone unit hitting Russian hideouts. We're talking precision strikes. That'll make Moscow's troops think twice about the prospect of messing with NATO. Ukrainian drone pilots have proven themselves time and time again to be silent assassins, sneaking up on the targets and delivering swift justice from above. The Ukrainians are reshaping the modern battlefield and showing the world that they won't back down, even in the face of overwhelming odds. Buckle up, folks, the Inquisition is on the prowl. Inquisitor Gregor Eisenhorn would be proud. Warhammer nerds will understand. Fun fact, this is not the only Warhammer-inspired unit in Ukraine. If you remember, there is also the Koren Group. Now we're moving on. In a recent push, Russian troops launched an attempt to storm the village of Krynki in the Kherson region. But as you will see in the video up ahead, the attack didn't go all too well. In the aftermath, the Russians were left with one tank, two BMPs, and three BTRs, fewer in the field. On the 7th of April 2024, a video surfaced on Telegram showing Russian troops executing three captured Ukrainian soldiers. The video prompted the Kherson Region Prosecutor's Office to launch a probe into the matter over potential premeditated murder, war crimes and violations of the rules of land warfare. In the footage, we'll see a Russian soldier firing at unarmed, motionless soldiers, likely from an assault rifle. According to the description, the video was captured near Krynki, in the Kherson region. This is the latest in a series of stark reminders showing the world the sheer brutality that the Russian invaders are capable. And with this stark reminder of what war against Russia really looks like, we end this episode of Military Mind. Please stay with us here on TVP World for more latest news and updates.